What is up guys, it is Nistro here. So today, uh, I just wanted to do a video for you guys because with the upcoming ban list, Vanity's Emptiness is getting banned. So uh, I just want to do a video of the top five replacements that I think, or in my opinion, would be the best replacements for Vanity's Emptiness. So uh, let's just start from the bottom. Uh, the number five would be Vanity's Fiend. Now, obviously, it has Vanities in the name. It's pretty much just Vanities as a monster. It's a level 6, and, you know, while it's face up on the field, neither player can special summon monsters. So, uh, this is this has always been, like, one of those, like, famous cards that, you know, it's, it's, it's usually only used in, like, pro play. I, I don't see a lot of uh, beginners play this card. Um, and uh, it's, it's something that is, like, usually, like, one of the like strongest monsters on the board like when it's on the board because usually it, like it has a presence like when when somebody summons it it's like it's usually a big deal it's like okay I, I need to get rid of this monster and um, since it does the same thing as vanities um, it does kind of have that same condition where neither player can special summon so it can be a hindrance if they if your opponent ends up like uh, getting rid of something that you needed on the on the board, but they keep your Vanity's Fiend there, and all of a sudden you're stuck with a monster that can't really do much. Uh, but it is level six, and um, it does have decent attack. So not every deck can play it, I understand, but usually there are a good number of decks that don't really need their normal summon as often as other decks do, like Zoo can go off without a normal summon. Like, they don't need a normal summon. If they get a barrage, like, a terror top and a barrage, they don't need a normal summon. <laughs> That's just fact. Uh, but, uh, and then after they're done, like, with all their plays, they could just, okay, tribute Vanity's Fiend, and then, okay, pass. It's like, it's real broken. Uh, during Monarch format, like, this was definitely another card um, that just stopped a lot of decks um, because Monarchs just bring this out so easily, like, they like they get horny off of this stuff like storm forth your monster for a vanity fiend and all of a sudden you're just sitting there salty <laughs> uh it, it's it's a real good card um it does the same thing as vanities so it's definitely why it was my number five replacement uh number four it's more of a side deck card but ghost reaper and winter cherries um since vanities is banned uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter, Chan uh, and Winter Cherries is kind of like something that instead of stopping your opponent from special summoning in general, you get rid of some of their key cards in their extra deck and you kind of stop them from playing the game um, in some situations. Like I remember when this thing was famous uh, against Burning Abyss because you banished your Dante and all of a sudden they're stuck um, and it's like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? I don't have any Dante. What's like, got Dante was like the gateway between the Burning Abyss monsters and the PK exceeds and all this and that and Beatrice as well. So it, it was kind of like a key monster that uh, Burning Abyss needed. And uh, when it got banished, it was kind of hard for Burning Abyss to keep playing. Um, and before the Burning Abyss is dead, it's not relevant anymore. I understand that. <laughs> but uh, it is still a good card. Um, if you hit like, like let's say they activate Instant Fusion, you hit Norton. All of a sudden, they just wasted a, a thousand and a card. Uh, if you're playing Zoo, you hit like a Dryden or a Broad Bowl, and you know they can't keep on uh, going off uh, against um, like every like just about every relevant deck. This format has at least one or two real significant extra deck monsters that they kind of need not to win, but they kind of need to like uh, really keep on that pressure and to really push for game. So. Like Paleozoics with like Toad or their Obapenia or the other or the other one uh, that starts with an A that's I can't really pronounce it. Um, him as well. Uh, so it's like every every just about every relevant deck needs some type of extra deck presence. So Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries it kind of uh, really gives you a way just to stop your opponent before they can really uh, get that presence out, and you know it gives you more of a, a balance. You know. 
um, since you kind of, although you do lose a card in hand, and you do need, uh, like, you, you pretty much are going to activate it, like, first turn where you have no monsters. So it is something that's more of a, how do I say? It's definitely a lot more uh, fair, in my opinion. It keeps, it, it, like, it keeps both players in check. Or your opponent in check, anyway. Uh, third is Torrential Tribute. I, I, I have actually seen a lot of people move to this card. Um, and it's... It's honestly something that's been forgotten for a while, or not forgotten, but just not even touched. I'm pretty sure a lot of players remember this card. Uh, like, when trap cards were good, which is pretty funny, uh, with Paleozoic, <laughs> like, it's pretty funny saying that <clears throat> when Paleozoics are actually one of the best decks right now. But when trap cards were good, like, in every deck, because now everybody's just so focused on killing each other before the opponent kills them, that everybody just stopped using trap cards except for like D barrier and strike. And it's like, eh, you know. But uh, now it's like, okay, I see more of a reason to use it. So it's like uh, against Zoo or against decks that really go off. You can just activate Torrential and you're like, ooh, okay. Well, this is cool. Are you going to end or are you just, are you just going to scoop or are you just going to put a... I mean, I, I can already tell that you're like spewing salt. I mean, it just actually torrential. You know, it's it's kind it kind of has that same feeling as like a mirror force, except it doesn't feel as bad as mirror force. Um, <laughs> because when you mirror force your opponent, it just feels so bad. It, it really does. Like you just put all that hard work and effort, and it's like okay, mirror force, and it's like whole board is gone. And it's like with torrential, it's usually during a main phase. It's most likely gonna activate during your main phase. So you usually have, you may have something else to play or, you know, one of your monsters may activate when it's destroyed. So it's not that big of a deal, but Mirror Force, that's like heartbreaking <laughs> right there. But still, Torrential is good against like Zoo and uh, quite a lot of decks, like when activated at the right time, just understand that you have to activate it at the right time. If you don't activate Torrential at the right time, it's a waste. And it's the fact that you kind of, uh, it also destroys your monsters as well, so just be careful that you have nothing really important on the field when you activate it, or nothing replace like irreplaceable. So you know if you kill your monster, like you don't really mind. Like if you're playing heroes and you kill your shadow miss, you're just gonna search another hero, so you might not care. But if you're playing something like black wings, I don't know, and you kill one of your synchros, and then you is like next turn, I was like, damn, I really need that synchro. You're going to regret it, so just make sure that you understand uh, when to activate Torrential and when not to. But it's a real good card. It does clear the board pretty much, so it, it does allow for you to really like go in after your opponent uh, really pushes. So uh, the top, um, so these last cards are kind of going to be like if you weren't playing them already. So like Dimensional Barrier, if you weren't playing it already... Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, I understand if you don't have the money and you're playing in real life, that's understandable. But if you have the money for this card and you don't have it, like, what are you doing with yourself? It's like, <laughs> this is one of the best cards of the format. One of the best trap cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, period, because of how useful it is. Like, and it, it just stops so much. It, like, it, it's, it's like the pinnacle of what trap cards should be. Especially a normal trap card, you know, it's like chainable, you know, this is like a counter trap card to when your opponent special summon and then you activate it, it'll, it'll be a bit different. I, I still feel it'll be played, but not as much, but the fact that it's a chainable trap card makes it so much better. It's like standby phase, draw phase, main phase one, you can chain it to anything, you know, pretty much. So it's like, if you aren't playing Dimensional Barrier already, play it. All right, like this is like this needs no explanation at all. Like if you're not playing this already and you have the money for it, or if you play on Yu Gi Oh Pro and you're not playing it in your deck, if you were playing Vanities before, if you had space for Vanities, then uh, put a Dimensional Barrier or two in. Like play at least two. Like if you play this card, um, it does clog a bit uh, when you're part when you're trying to play like a combo deck, but usually it hinders your opponent so much. That it, that you might not mind it clogging your deck as much, so it's it's kind of something that's like 50-50, but it's still a real 
legit card. Like, like seriously, it is kind of so legit. Uh, so the best replacement for vanities is the solemn brigade. Uh, most mostly warning, I would say, because warning stops more like cards that special summon than strike does. Like, Strike just stops the special summon in itself or a monster effect. So that's something more situational than Warning, where it's like it stops any summon or any card that summons, you know? Like, any spell trap or effect that summons, um, you know, a, a monster. And that's a lot more useful in certain against certain decks, because some, some decks, like, only Fusion Summon or only this. Like, Strike can probably stop... The monsters effect that comes to the board but if they just fusion some of the monster and just be like okay attack strike can't do anything to that monster warning however can stop the polymerization that summons the monster so it, it has like its it, its uses its, its versatility uh so some people uh, i know when strike first came out some people were like two strike uh one warning uh some people only ran warning some people only ran is like that's that can be a lot more useful in certain situations than like a d burial only for a turn or a strike or a warning like this only one time one shot things it's like vanity's vanity's fiend is like the thing to get rid of versus like okay one back row oh it's a, oh, it's a solemn that's cool and then they just keep going but vanity's fiend that isn't the case uh Ghost Reaper, uh, I, I can't believe I'm still going over these, but Ghost Reaper is still something that I would just, it's more of a side deck option, as I said before, and Torrential is more against certain matchups, like, it's it's usually only, like, certain decks can play this, uh, I don't think every deck can play it, uh, just, under, like, understand when to activate it, and you'll be good. So, uh, I guess that's all I have to say for this topic for now, uh, so this was Nistro here. Uh, if you enjoy the video, I guess you can give it a like. I mean, I, I don't really say this often because I don't really care, uh, honestly. But um, if you enjoy, just just leave a like. It's 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 real simple. Um, I, I don't I don't really say it often again, but it's like uh, it, being a small uh, Yugi tuber. Like every every like and comment really matters more to me because of how small I am. Like, I, like it's like, oh my God, somebody's actually watching this stuff. And it's like, you know, it, it gives me encouragement. I'm pretty much asking you to encourage me to keep going. It's the, when somebody asks you to like the video, that's pretty much what they're doing. Uh, so yeah, again, this was Nistro here. Nistro outs.